This is Barbara Reese reporting for This Week in East Brunswick. Come join us for a special evening here at Memorial Elementary School, a family STEM night. It's a wonderful STEM evening and it's packed, people are enjoying. Tell us why you like having STEM night here at Memorial. It's just such a fantastic opportunity for parents and families to come out and participate in science activities and mathematic activities that necessarily students just might not be doing at home. So it's such a wonderful opportunity we have here. Last year Memorial asked me to help out with STEM night and we took it from there. We had, a, we had 300 people here last year and uh, it was very successful. Um, a lot of parent involvement. Um, it's about getting families together and um, teaching families to work with their kids and, you know, get them involved in education. And um, it, it was successful. So this year we're on our third school here uh, in East Brunswick, and uh, we hope to spread the uh, spread STEM all over town. Well, last uh, year, uh, my daughter, who's on the PTA. Uh, asked if maybe we could do something to help generate more parent participation. And so we picked a STEM project because I have a lot of experience. My partner's here and he was technology educator of the year. And so what happens, we put this event on last year. And then a strange thing happened. Uh, I did, wasn't that familiar with the youth council, but there was an expression of interest by the students to maybe get more involved in this project. I understand the Youth Council had a part in planning this special STEM evening. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? The East Brunswick Youth Council has a subcommittee called the STEM Leadership Team, and they've been working together for actually a few months now, and they've been training and trying to build upon what Howie Herbert actually initially developed um, to kind of make it their own and um, come up with new ideas to, and you know, innovative ways to maybe advance some of the item, you know, I guess activities he came up with. So um, then these kids, after going through lots of training, um, they've been coming to these different STEM nights and helping run the stations and run the activities. So the kids are trying to add to it, enhance it, make it a little bit of their own. So it's a nice program and everybody's loving it and the kids are loving doing it, which is nice. In this room we have tons of stations for the kids to go to. There's problem solving. There's some stations where they have to work with their families to solve math problems. There's also a station for them to do a sort of craft project to write about what they like about STEM so that that can be hung in the public library. And it's just a fun experience all around. And also in the next room over we have um, like more like large scale hands-on building projects. And these projects are roughly designed to take about 30 to 45 minutes. And they revolve around like the story that our writers designed where like your ship gets capsized at sea and you have to like, you swim to an island and with the resources you find, you have to make a shelter and a radio tower to get communication to the mainland. So we have like things like um, dowels and like rolling papers and we're able to build structures and it allows the children to get, um, or interact with their parents and get the parents involved as well. And overall, it's just a really fun time and it teaches the kids a lot. Well, going forward, we're working on creating some sort of new activities or improving the building projects in new ways so that we can incorporate more aspects of STEM into them and so that we can have more stations for the kids to go to. And we're working on developing new activities with the rest of the team. I would encourage everybody to join the East Brunswick Youth Council. It really gives you a lot of opportunities to work in the community, to help out at events such like this, and to take a role in leadership and to really make a difference in East Brunswick. It's so nice that we have the Youth Council here um, to help us with facilitating this, and it's just a nice opportunity for families to get together. What I think is interesting is that many of the students are not just volunteering for the hours, but they're really hooked on the design so they're starting to really take some ideas of their own and develop them. And that's really uh, what I'm proud of, that they're off on their own. I like that there was this game where you could draw on a whiteboard and you would have to try to get the balls bouncing into a number. It's really fun and exciting and you can learn a lot. I really enjoyed all the challenges that are placed for our students. 
at Memorial Elementary School. I think it's very good. Actually, I like how it tests the kids and it makes them apply facts that they learn in school. So I think it's, it's really good. And I'm glad I see a little table over there on fractions and, you know, to test the kids and multi levels of difficulty. So it's really good. And I think it just makes the kids very excited about math and science and just learning. Well, I like going around to each station. I love STEM because I love science. And so there's a lot of math here, and there's a lot of science, technology, and a lot of art. I'm pleased to be part of it, but clearly it's important to recognize that this is a, an organization that started through the rec department who sponsored these students. And that's why we're here tonight. This is Barbara Reese reporting for This Week in East Brunswick. Hope you enjoyed being here with us this evening for Memorial School PTA STEM Night. It was a lot of fun for us all and a great learning experience, and we hope you'll join us next year.